The first day of school in the Geneva City School System is next Monday. But besides pandemic health protocols, Superintendent Ron Snell and his staff are concerned about the potentially severe tropical weather in the Gulf of Mexico. Tonight, Mike Gerspan says the virtual classroom experience would come in handy if the wiregrass receives a direct hit. Monday. On Thursday morning, Geneva County EMA Director Eric Johnson monitors the latest models of the tropical weather systems churning in the Atlantic. One system in particular has the possibility of causing issues for Northwest Florida and the wiregrass. It depends on whether it moves in the Gulf of Mexico early next week. It very well could affect the east side of the Gulf, of course, and when I say east side, that's Florida, Alabama side. There's still a chance it could go to the west, but right now, as of this morning, it looks like if it gets into the Gulf, it may curve up and we could very well be affected. But that is several days away, so we have plenty of time to prepare. Geneva City Superintendent Ron Snell says that they've been dealing with precautions for the COVID, but now a possible hurricane. The virtual classroom may come in handy in the event the tropical weather causes damage here. A situation where it's watch and see and it's also prepare for worst, expect the best. And, and, you know, in many ways, the experience with COVID has prepared us for this moment. Now, it couldn't come at a worse time because our first day of school is the Monday the 24th. School systems across the tri-states will be closely monitoring progression of the tropical weather through the weekend to better determine what course of action to take next week.